Hi, my name's Kate and I work here at the Tasmania Museum and Art Gallery and I've chosen to talk about this Gunter's chain today. It's a really interesting object and it's, a, it's known as the Gunter's chain but it's also known as a surveyor's chain because surveyors used to use them to measure out land in order to make maps and um, to yep, divide up space. So what I'd like to do is open up this chain right away. So Richard, if you could come over and help me to lay it out. The whole 66 feet of chain or 22 yards, which also happens to be the same length as a cricket pitch, which isn't a coincidence. So as you can see, this is the length we're here in the TMAG courtyard, so this is the length of a chain. So you may have heard of a chain of measurement. This is why it's called a chain. So the way these were used is that they were basically sort of dragged through the bush to measure, and you could put a pole down through this handle, and then through the handle that Richard's got the other end. You would measure your chain, and then keep the pole in one handle, and take the chain around to keep on measuring and someone would therefore be recording how many chains you had. So 10 squared chains make an acre. So it's a very clever system. There are 10 links. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then you notice a tag. So you know how far along the chain you've got. Then in another 10 links, you'll find a different tag. So you know where you are. So you can imagine being out in the bush and going over rocks and boulders and trying to get around trees and trying to measure out land. It must have been quite a task and also probably out for days and weeks measuring out the land. This Gunter's chain was named after someone called Edmund Gunter who was a British man, he was a clergyman and a mathematician and the date that's, that's written that he invented is 1620 and surveyors actually were using them up until the mid 20th century as a way of still surveying the land. So a very simple but clever idea has been used for so long. You may have noticed that I'm not using gloves uh, to handle this uh, object. That's because it's not actually a collection item in the TMAG collection. We do have a Gunter's chain in the collection in one of our Bond store exhibitions um, and that came from Port Arthur and was used in the um, mid-1800s. So uh, that one's kept nice and safe. This one was acquired uh, in the UK of which because there were really a lot of them were produced. I've chosen this object because I really like the physicality of it and I like to imagine the surveyors out there, you know, mapping out the land. It was used in Canada, it was used in the United States, it was used across the British Empire, it was used in India, um, it was used train, train gauges are still measured in chains. Uh, so it's really been a very important part of uh, Western sort of history. So uh, it part of uh, it's part of a teacher backpack that we lend to teachers when they can come to TMAG and it, the backpack's full of objects uh, that are interesting for students to handle and sort of get more of a grip on history and, and find out why it's so interesting. Uh, so that's the reason I chose this Gunter's chain. Uh, I hope you found it interesting as well and maybe when you hear the measurement of a chain now you'll know what we're talking about. <laughs>